Dude, I need to see. I need to show you the. Um, Kurt Cobain's dead picture. I've seen it. No. <laughs> <laughs> he had a blast in the end. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was going to show you the um, the footage of last week's episode. Yeah. Because uh, I was like fast forwarding through it, and the amount of back and forth you do because you won't stop swaying your chair back and forth. Oh, yeah, it looks. Just... You're just like you're. You it looks like you're vibrating yeah, through this... the whole. This is what I do at work. I'm working and I'm just doing this. Yeah. Because I have to be moving. <laughs> to, like, focus, I have to move. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm what's like, up, everybody? Welcome to up? another episode of The Night Funk. We're back at it again. Today, we're going to be talking about uh, fucking school. School starting up. Yeah, back to school. Back to school, baby. Yeah. But before we get into the conversation, make sure to look us up on all the socials at The Night Funk Podcast on Instagram, TikTok, and you can now find us on YouTube where we occasionally post up the full unedited cut of this episode. Uncensored. Uncensored, You can see my shorts get shorter. Because of it, we have to be more careful about what we say because we will get fucking thrown off that shit quick. canceled. Yeah, but it is what it is. Yeah. You Bunch know, of fucking snowflakes. Don't worry, Elon <laughs> is fighting for our freedom. <laughs> X. <laughs> it's so so dumb. Like, have you heard about that? The whole uh, what was it? Uh, the front of the building. He put up a big old X. Yeah. Like, he took the Twitter sign down and everything. First of all, you're just destroying your branding there. Mm-hmm. Um, and he put a giant black X on the building. And for one, it sounds like he made a porn site. Yeah. X dot com. <laughs> Um, well, but it's then, not just uh, that, but people have noticed that he's had a weird obsession with the letter X. Yeah, because he time. tried to do it with PayPal too, and yeah. they were like, "No, it's not going to work because it sounds stupid." And now he did it because he could. Ugh. But uh, no, they put it up, and I think on the same day they had to tear it down because uh, they did no paperwork to change and do the construction on the front of the building. Oh wow! Yeah, so like he just wasted money. Yeah, I mean, that's just something he's accustomed to doing at yeah. this point. It's just crazy like how he went from, like, a rising star of, like, oh, he's saving the world from, you know, he's doing Tesla. Yeah, dude, he was, like, the, he was like the new age champion of, yeah. like, uh, of like he was Iron Man. Yeah, yeah. For, a, for a good long minute. And then I feel like everything changed when he fucking hit that weed on Joe Rogan. And yeah. then he just fucking went off the deep end. He hit that quantum shit, bro. What if he's still high from it? <laughs> that's some good shit, dude. <laughs> I mean, that's that Rogan Kush, dog. Yeah. You know he's buying the best weed around. He's got, like... He's got that Spotify money. <laughs> Spotify, hit us up. Yes, Come on. Us up. Give, give us a deal. Put us on Joe Rogan. We'll talk yeah. to him. Yeah. I just want to hear him talk. I'd love to meet Joe. That'd be yeah. fucking dope. I'd be like, yeah, dude, let's fucking talk about the DMT. I'll just talk to him. I'm not a fan. No, I'm yeah. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's funny. Yeah. But, um, yeah. <laughs> so uh, back to school. Back to school, dog. Yeah, kids dude, are going back now. Now here's the thing. I remember like when we when you first like uh, whenever the school year is starting up. Did you ever do the open house things? Fuck no, dude. My parents are busy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I do. I always had to do them. I I don't know why. I don't know how my mom found the time, but she always took us. I think like well, for she her worked for the school at the time, right? Yes, she did. Yeah, actually, so maybe that's why. Yeah, I, mean, I guess they would obviously like lean back to let mm-hmm. her like uh, be able to do that for us. But also just because I guess like my mom always wanted to like be very attentive with like my brother's like yeah. whole setup because you know the spe- we went to a certain uh, district, a school district because they had a better special ed program. Yeah, because I know that I technically shouldn't have been going to the elementary school I was going to because I wasn't in district, but because my mom worked there and because. Mm-hmm. Um, my uh, brother's situation. She was able to like let us go there. We just we had to be like dropped off every day. I I didn't ride the bus until middle school. Yeah. Did um Did your mom get hit with the like the double taxes then? What's that? Because sometimes uh from what I've heard is if you want your kid to go to a different district, you have to pay the taxes in that district as well. Like on your on when you file for taxes. Um, uh, may- your maybe. taxes go to the district like the school and everything. Maybe, but the thing yeah. is, I think the I don't think it would have been that much different. Yeah, I think it was just a convenience thing for my mom, mm-hmm. just to make sure, because you know you, you want to make sure that your kids are doing all right. Yeah. The, although I do kind of, I do kind of think about it. I think that's what shaped me as who I am, because like, I I'm, I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but like in my early years of life, uh, like you know my Latino background, I had like a little bit of resentment of it, 
and the reason was was because I was so fuck I was alienated so much at my at my school for being different, you know? Majority of the people like the mm. mass vast majority of the people at my elementary school were white kids. Oh yeah, duh. No black kids. I think there was like one or two Asian kids. I was a brown dot in a sea of white folk. My class, my element, like all the way from, I'm no joke, from preschool to like middle school, Mm -hmm. uh, we had one black kid and one Asian kid. Yeah. And the Asian kid moved in fifth grade. (laughs) Yeah. And we were all in the same class. It always worked out that way. Yeah. And then once middle school hit, that's when we all started going. I don't know what happened. We kept telling him to go back to China and he just left. (laughs) We were I mean, just, we were just, you can see he's always fucking squinting. We were just joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, yeah, go, growing up is just predominantly white. You, you always got those looks in class, especially when you first started, like, uh, in preschool. And I remember fucking preschool. Yeah. Not too much, but I, I do remember the whole, does he speak English? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh my like, God. Yeah. Dude. And then like through kindergarten again, the same, does he speak English? They tried to put me in elementary school in the uh, in one like the the speech ed classes, and then when I they saw like oh he speaks perfect English yeah uh, okay we don't need him to do that All so right. that's something that <laughs> fucking sucked dude because like the district I should have been going to mm-hmm. like elementary school I probably would have had a better opportunity there be uh, as far as like making friends or fitting in and shit because it was majority a Hispanic school. Yeah. Like, I think that school specifically was 50-50 split between Hispanic and white kids. The one I went to instead, like, there were other Hispanic kids there, but there were, like, the suburban Hispanic uh, kids, yeah. the ones that had money. They didn't know what poverty was. Yeah. And I was broke. Like, I needed that free lunch. Yeah. Like, Dude, that free lunch helped a lot. That breakfast and free lunch. Like, we don't think about it now, but, like, well, now as adults, we think about it. That probably helped our parents out so goddamn much. Yeah. Because all they had to do is have enough money to provide dinner, at least. Goddamn. And sometimes, yeah. like, you'd get lucky sometimes, scrape up, like, four quarters, get that extra sausage biscuit in the morning. No, bro, scrape up the four quarters and get a fucking ice cream. An ice yeah. cream? Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. I get my little cup of chocolate with the little wooden spoon that tastes just as good. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't eat the spoon. I just <laughs> like to, like, chew on it. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun. But yeah, I'm Those fucking, um, God, what was it? I remember, God, dude, school lunches, man, they used to hit. They used to fucking hit. Yeah, yeah. well, you can blame fucking Michelle Obama for that. Fuck you. <laughs> nah, sh- nah. But, uh, no, like, Shout fucking, out to uh, my boy, Barack. Barack Obi. <laughs> <laughs> shout out, shout out my boy. Uh, hey, Michelle be thick, though. Yeah, she getting thick. She thick. Um, but no, like, uh, my she favorite thing like that was, ice cream. Uh, <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> She looks like chocolate. <laughs> but no, uh, my favorite thing we get was uh, one of those chicken biscuits from school. Yeah. Because it was always that, like, kind of peppered chicken patty. Mm-hmm. It was like that frozen-ass chicken patty. Dude, I don't know how happy I used to be, but I'm I'm sure physically I was very happy every time you saw that uh, country fried sh- Steak and gravy. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, my God. Uh, so fucking good. Dude, I don't give a fuck what anybody yeah, says. With, like them I, powdered ba- uh, with them powdered mashed potatoes. You know what was disgusting was when some of the white kids would always, like, the, uh, when they started doing pizza every day for the picky eater kids. Oh, uh, yeah. God, I knew so many kids that every day they would eat that fucking nasty-ass pizza. Well, my school had really good pizza. It depended because... Uh, they would have either the rectangle pizza. Yeah. And that shit was fucking bussin'. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to book now. Um, that pizza was fucking good, especially when it was like the pepperoni and the sausage. Mm-hmm. Woo! I sound like a fat kid right now, man. Uh, but when it was the triangle pizzas. I think we've talked about the school pizza before in the past. No, we have. <laughs> the triangle pizza, that was dog shit, bro. Oh. Yeah, when it was uh, when it was the triangle pizza that was only ever just cheese pizza, I guess it was when... Fucking times were tough at the school. Yeah. Um, that sauce tasted like ketchup. The cheese tasted like just fucking like nothing. Fucking disgusting, yeah. dog. Disgusting. Did you, did you get the little, um, there were like the little like triangle packages of juice that are frozen? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah oh, I fucking love those things, dude. Yeah, and I remember sometimes you could get like the frozen um, fruit bars. You know what mm-hmm. I'm talking about? The, the the minute made ones that were like triangle shaped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I used to love those fucking things. Yeah. Just there sucking on it. It's fucking nature's yeah. titty dog. 
Yeah, and then the just I, I don't understand for the longest time. Yeah, there were water fountains there, but why didn't they offer just like a little bottle of water or a cup of water for kids? It was always milk. I guess like milk was always like a thing. I guess they wanted you to make sure that you're getting enough like nu- nutrients. Uh, nutrients. Yeah, but like I mean, still like chicken nuggets and chocolate milk. But I'm always surprised when sometimes they would like serve things that I feel like most kids wouldn't want on their plate. Mm-hmm. Like whenever they just give you like green beans, not every kid is going to be like, "Yeah, let me get the green beans." You know. I, was about the green beans, I mean, th- I mean, I was too. But I'm just saying, like, yeah. it, it, it's a it's a weird choice to yeah. like actively sometimes black beans, black beans. Yeah, they yeah. did that a lot at my school. Whenever they did a, uh, uh, it was like a chicken, it was like a chicken patty with gravy on it. Yeah, that, the times were fucking tough. <laughs> Um, Even the schools were feeling it. Yeah. But, uh, no, nah, bro. You know what I miss, though? The bag lunches. You get that peanut butter and honey sandwich. Bag lunch? Yeah, with a bag of uh, sun chips. Uh, Woo! And an apple. Mm-hmm. That was poor man food right there. Yeah, that's always that's always the shit they used to come around for, like, the field days and shit. Yeah, bro. I love that shit. Yeah. Yeah, it was a while our school stopped doing the free lunch like as they should, which is stupid. Yeah. And if you got a free lunch, they would give you that bag. So I was eating a lot of fucking peanut butter and honey sandwiches, bro. And that shit was delicious. They used to put honey on it? No, they would. Uh, that's how they would make it. Oh. So instead of jelly, it's a little bit healthier. They put honey in it. But what? <laughs> it's cement in your mouth, bro. You bite, you're like. Yeah. <laughs> and you're just drinking milk. <laughs> no, but like. Going back to, like, what I was saying earlier, dude, yeah. it's just, like, sometimes, depending on where you go to school and just being different causes you to become, like, alienated. Yeah, no, yeah, of course. Like, I, I can honestly say I probably didn't really start making friends in school until, like, middle school because, like, I was just so different. Middle school, like, you know, all the different school districts finally meet together. Yeah. So I started actually hanging out with more Hispanic kids for once, and suddenly the things that I was, like, ridiculed for for being weird and, like you mm-hmm. know, like, ethnic uh, no longer mattered because now I'm surrounded by other people that can vouch that this is just a normal thing for us, you know? Cause, this like, motherfucker smells like beans. Yeah, mom burnt them last night. What the fuck? It's normal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it's also, like, I remember, like, one time in, like, elementary school, I, I took, like, a trip to Mexico with the family, right? Mm. I came back, and my mom gave me, like, a bag of Mexican candy. He's like, Give, share, share these with, like, the kids in class. Oh, yeah, yeah. And every kid was like, yeah, the duvelings are good, but all this tamarindo shit is gross. And I was just like, but that the tamarindo stuff's like yeah, the best. Fuck, fuck y'all more for me. Than yeah, it's like, goddamn, dude. <clears throat> Luckily, like, my school's, I guess, a bit more understanding. Um, you know, I just had to announce it and be like, lock them up, fucking beaners. But uh, no. <laughs> um, it was weird because it was like your country, you know, fucking, you know, the town I grew up in and shit, country as fuck. Mm-hmm. Um, there was still, a, like, for the longest time, there was the last, like, old married black couple that was around when they weren't allowed anywhere in town. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, yeah, it was um, it was a little different for me. Like, I brought candies to school, and people tried them. Of course, they didn't like them. Like, yeah, whatever. But they weren't like, oh, that's fucking disgusting. It was like, oh, what a nice culture. And it was, it was nicer. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it really depends on where you're from, man. Because, yeah. like, uh, like... It can be one or the other here in the South. Like in the South, people can be very hospitable, like hospitable. Yeah. And they can be very nice and like kind. But some people are just straight up ignorant as hell. They're like, what the fuck? Yeah, like Get up, the- up in this area, they're a lot more ignorant. Um, they can be. Yeah. The thing is, like, I like my three closest friends are all white dudes, yeah. you know? Like, I love these dudes like they're my brothers, you know? And they always showed me tons of, like, love and respect and shit like that. Because, you know, we, you know, we grew up together. They all were in more privileged situations, but they looked out for me, man. Mm-hmm. Like, they looked out for me, and I, I will always be grateful for that. But some people were not as nice, and some people were not yeah. as forgiving. So a lot of times, you know, I I used to always hate when somebody would, like, confront me, but like, well, you were kind of a bully in high school. Yeah, I was a bully because of my extreme insecurity because you guys kept yeah, you bullying guys me. Assholes. You guys were bullying me for being different. Yeah. So why the fuck wouldn't I be bitter? Like, and the truth be told, I mean, like, obviously now I have the force to know that, like, yeah, maybe being a little bit mean to people in high school wasn't the smartest thing to do because it looked, put yeah. a bad light on me. 
But in reality, I mean, I feel like sometimes you have to learn to be a little bit mean just to get by in life. Yeah, this is like if you just if you're too nice, people just walk all over you and just do whatever the fuck they want. I don't know how. That's, that's the thing I kind of tell my wife because she's like, "It's like you talk to that person really like really like sternly." I'm like, "Yeah," because they weren't doing what they were supposed to be fucking doing. Like, I ain't gonna pussyfoot around the damn thing and be like, "Yeah, no, you should have done this." And it's like, no. I guess for me now, uh, what I've noticed is like, I guess I'm more in tune with people's feelings than I used to be. Cause back mm. then I did not care if you got your feelings hurt. Yep. Cause for me, it was just like, nobody give a fuck about my feelings. What should I give a fuck about yours? Yeah. You know? So I was obviously, I carried that uh, resentment with me. And it's just the upgrading too of the get up, suck it up and keep going. Yeah. Suck yeah. it up buttercup. Yeah. Got to get to it. It's that machismo shit again. Yeah. Yeah. Cause we're guys and we have to, Put on a strong face sometimes. I know. I'm glad I grew out of that shit. Some yeah. people like who have already like touched our age still haven't grown out of that shit. Yeah, man. it's just when you see it, it's kind of sad at the same time. And then even and especially if they're in a relationship, I'm just like, I feel bad for your like girl. <laughs> I remember one time I was clowning one of my boys from work because he was talking about like how he got in an argument with this girl that he went out on a date with because she wanted to. Uh, pay for her own meal and he was like no like i'm a fucking man i i'm gonna pay for the date and i was that, like dude, and i was mine, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'll say bro like financially yeah like you fucking up dog because yeah. you're gonna need that money one day and he's just like nah like like i'm a man i'm always gonna be working i'm always gonna like you know so you say that until the day that you come into work and you're just not feeling it and people somebody throws you under the bus and yeah. then you're you're they start hanging your job over your head dog and mm-hmm. like like in corporate America, like you can't expect them to be nice to you uh, for any reason. Yeah. Like half the time when a corporation is being nice to you is because they're just trying to make sure they secure their investment. They're not doing it because they genuinely care. Yeah, about your dollars you. to them, man. Exactly. And then you're as the same thing as like you're easily replaceable. It's that whole thing of like you know your obituaries in the paper one day and the next day it's a job posting. Yeah, yeah. I've literally been to my job a couple of times where I've heard like higher ups be like, "You don't like it, then you can leave." Yeah, they like, don't give a fuck, dude. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. They don't. And I mean, I it, it's one of those things where like that's just the reality of like most jobs in America is like yeah. you are replaceable. So, but at the same time. Do not give these company any benefit of the doubt. Mm-hmm. They are making a lot more money for your labor. Yeah, from what I've, than what they're paying you for. You know what I've learned in my like, you know, however many years of working jobs and stuff is like, yeah, bust your ass, but don't do it overdo it to where they're taking advantage of you. But make yourself irreplaceable. Make them be like, oh shit, we got to keep this person happy because if they leave, we're gonna be in the shit. Yeah, you know what my yeah. biggest fucking like thing that I get upset with is sometimes like whenever the quarterly earning things come out for Mm -hmm. like most jobs is sometimes they'll brag about like, thanks for all your help. We were able to have a multi-million dollar year Mm -hmm. of profits this year. And because of this, we're going to show you our appreciation by giving you a pizza party. Woo! Speaking of, I have a pizza party this week. (laughs) No joke. (laughs) But, I can um, buy my own fucking pizza. I don't want your goddamn pizza. Stop. No, yeah, tra- it's, it's a slap in the face, but at the same time, free pizza. <laughs> is that, is that, is that, uh, <laughs> I'm not happy about it, but I'm going to eat my damn pizza. <laughs> That's how you know you're fat. <laughs> no, bro. It's free food. You don't get it. <laughs> I know, food. but you're, you're just like, I want more than just free pizza, but I'll take the pizza. Like, like it, it's still a fat ass move. A, this is an addition. This is not everything. But no, like our comp- the company. Hey, we're I stripping work for. away your pension, but you get a pizza party. <laughs> oh, we'll get pizza at least. Shout out to all the workers at uh, fucking Yellow, uh, <laughs> fucking that trucking company. Yeah, yeah, that shit that sucks for them. See, I know these companies are full of shit because of what we just saw fucking UPS do. Mm-hmm. UPS is fucking paying their workers some damn good money now. Did it actually go through with it? Because the last thing I heard is UPS was still going to strike. Uh, I think it's one of those things where they have to keep, they have to stay on strike into they're told to get off a strike. No, it's not that. They're, like, they're still in like, they're still like uh, figuring that out, aren't they? No. The, so what happened, what I saw is UPS, they said, oh, UPS won their thing. The unions won and they were going to get everything that they asked for. But then a week, not even a week later, I saw on like on, of course, on TikTok, 
uh, some people that were in the union were like, so, you know, UPS, the company backed out of it and they're kind of shitting on us again. So thank them for us going back on strike. Well, damn. Yeah. But I don't know because it's, they said they were going to go on strike like August 1st, but I still see UPS trucks rolling around. It's because these, it, all this is really fueled mostly because of the people who are like in the investment realm. Mm -hmm. It's because you got to think about these investors who are investing money into this company. They want to maximize the amount of profit they're going to get back. Yeah. Now, these companies are capable of playing their employees more, but is that what the investors want to see? No, they want to yeah. see more money in their own pockets. Yeah, so they're going to fucking try to do whatever they can to make sure that the, the employee gets the least amount as possible. They don't care about the benefits that the workers are going to get because to them, it doesn't make a difference. All that makes a difference to them is the amount of money they get in return. Yeah. And they're also a part of that tax bracket of people who barely pay taxes. Yeah. So it's they got all those bailouts and everything. Yeah, they're the ones fucking doing that fishy shit of hiding their money in fucking, you know, Swiss bank accounts and mm -hmm. shit. Or fucking in hiding the their money and shit. Yeah. in Jamaica. It's just fucking sitting in a box somewhere. <laughs> Some Jamaican guys in there. Yeah, the box showed up one day. Yeah. We put it in the back, man. <laughs> but it's, it's just seeing all this shit go on, like, I don't know. Going back to school, like, I mean, the teachers' unions are getting fucked, too. Teacher unions are getting fucked. Yeah. Dude, a lot of teachers have to buy fucking school supplies for their own kids. Yeah. It's fucking insane. It's ridiculous. And then and then they don't get uh, reimbursed for that shit. Yep. Absolutely not. It's fucking stupid. It's stupid that, like, America likes to fucking gloat about being, like, this global superpower, but we're, like, ranked very low in education. Like, I don't know what the exact number is of where we rank, but it's not even close to being the best. Yeah. I, oh, no. We're, I could pull it up, man. Shit. We're ranked, like, we're not even in the top 10, I think. No, we're, like, in, like, what, 40, 30, something like that. Like, uh, compared to certain countries, yes, we have better education, but we don't even have close to the best. And America's, like, the kind of person that, like, you know, they're the... They're the sports fan in the f in, in, at the stadium yelling that we're number one. We're the best, you know? Trying to say all that DJ Khaled shit of like, yeah, yeah. we number one. But the truth truth be told, the numbers don't add up. Yeah, all right. Our credit score went down, by the way. You know we fucked. Let's see. We had a triple A credit score. That shit went to AA+. Plus. Let's see. Education rankings by country. Oh, this is weird. This is... Okay, this is putting us at the top because of how many people are educated. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, that's not true. Is it a legitimate list or is it a YouTube list? No, it's a legitimate list. I fucking hate those YouTube lists. They're like, we're going to talk about the top five thoughts ever in history. Number five, Rosa Parks. I'm like, what? Yeah. Like, chill out. <laughs> there we go. Education rankings by country. Yeah, we're not even on that list. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Yeah, moving on. Uh, number one is Germany, apparently. Germany? Yeah, Germany, Finland, Iceland, New Zealand, Norway, UK, Australia, Denmark, Ireland, Singapore. That's top ten. God damn. We're nowhere near Germany's that. number one? Yep. What are they putting in that schnitzel, dog? Uh, everything. <laughs> damn. Uh, all the brains of the Jewish people. Do you think it's killed. true that if you consume a certain amount of an organ that it improves that organ? No. Really? It, no, that's not true. If, are you eating a lot of dick? No. That's, it's not going to help. Well, I'm, I'm not trying to improve my dick. <laughs> I'm fine with how it is. Yeah. <laughs> I saw somebody put put a uh, post this funny thing on Twitter. This girl on Twitter said, "If if your dick is nine inches and you think it's big, well, you're wrong." And then somebody said, uh, "God damn, Miss fucking deep dish pussy over here." Yeah, really. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Because like. <sighs> But let's get off that subject. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just things happen down there for all those listening that don't know. It elongates, you know, and it shortens. No, but I've thing. always heard that, like, yeah. you know, people who consume a lot of, like, liver, it actually improves liver function. No, it just 
just eat a lot of liver. I don't know, There's man. There's iron in there. I'm, com- I'm, I'm, I'm one of the people that are kind of like, I don't think necessarily. You're like, be if, one of those raw meat dudes. No, definitely not. I, I, one, I don't even like organ meat. I can eat like heart. Heart's pretty good. Yeah, heart's good. If it's cooked like right. But I mean, I could, I think it would make sense if you were consuming a cooked organ that it could improve or bring some benefit to the organs that you currently have. Mm-hmm. I feel like maybe that meat itself has some type of like, you know, compounds that are good for that organ that you possess. Maybe not. Maybe it's not perfect because obviously we're going to be eating animal organs. Yeah, it's not going to be great because, I mean, yeah, that you're eating animal organs. Why aren't also, some repli- cooked. So when you cook something, it, it destroys the whole thing. Oh, like, not, not all of it, though. Most of it, but you're not going to get all, the full nutritional value that it is. Like, it's going to lose any fat content it has if you leave it in there to cook and all the fat renders out. Mm. Uh, it's going to make, you know, soft muscles uh, hard because, it you know, when something cooks, it hardens up a little. Yeah. Uh, you're going to kill protein. Uh, uh, any, any good vitamins, proteins, anything like that, you're going to destroy it when you cook it. You know, a lot of people believe that evolution really ramped up after, like, the early and like early hominids learned how to like cook their food. Yeah, they said that's what like killed them. So I'm just saying, like, if they were cooking meat, they're getting something enough to make them smarter and more developed. So maybe that's the well, same I mean, thing is true. It's because they're living longer. I mean, haven't humans already exponentially like gotten smarter throughout the years? Aren't yeah, current day people because... smarter than how people were back in the 1930s? Yeah. Of course, because we know that, you know, you know, it's okay to be gay, for one. Huh? Yeah, it's okay to be gay. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, um, what is it? It's just like all the shit that they I'm joking, by the way. Don't even start with that bullshit. <laughs> no, like... Uh, There's already somebody in the comments like, fucking bigot, <laughs> fucking Alex Jones supporter. Cancel, cancel, cancel. <laughs> no, like, uh, what is it? Uh, people fucking learn that you can't smoke when you're pregnant. That is true. Yeah, or drink. Then again, maybe they just gave those kids some fucking tough iron will lungs. No, it didn't. You never know, dog. Yeah. <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe sometimes you need to fuck with some shit and you get like a fucking super baby. How about you try it and let's see how it goes? I mean, I'm just saying, dog. Denise smoked this whole pack. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Maybe, may, what if you took like growth hormones while you were pregnant with somebody would th- would that baby come out jack it'd probably fuck up the baby i don't know it would because the whatever like the the woman takes in for the baby they it the baby absorbs yeah so if they get an excess of something that's gonna really fuck them up that baby's gonna come out with like a big ass head <laughs> yeah maybe or um deformed lungs or deformed heart or no arms or they don't form completely because something else the, I know that vitamins make something else grow faster, so it doesn't completely form. I feel like that's probably happened sometimes. You know, there must have been some health person that was just like, "I want my baby to be fucking healthy as possible, yeah. so I'm going to take growth hormones," and they basically gave birth to Modoc from fucking Marvel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just little tiny arms and legs. <laughs> but no, it's just. Like, there are prenatal vitamins and everything you can do like that. Eat better, eat healthier. And, yeah, it helps out. But it, pumping yourself full of shit doesn't help. Mm. And then the, going back to, like, we got exponentially smarter and once we started cooking our food. Yeah. That's because we lived longer. Like, because you, you were able to digest food better. You were getting less parasites from raw foods. You're saying people back then lived longer? No. Back then, like, the cave people, they would live short fucking hard lives yeah because they would be you know full of parasites full of you know, disease from the meat and whatever they would eat but once they learned that oh i can cook this shit and it cooks out you know some of the bad shit kills parasites and makes it easier to digest they were able to be better and they had more time to think you know rock circle make go fast and shit like that i guess that does make sense too because if like back then they were just eating like raw chickens and shit that's probably yeah. like what was killing them well the crazy thing is like um like talking all like where i lived like all the farmer fucks that i used to like talk to and everything at the bar and stuff they're mm-hmm. talking like you can eat raw chicken not a lot it's not good for you but you can if it's like homegrown like organic grass-fed whatever i don't believe that shit for no. a second Bro, the fucking uh, meat guy, he was a weird guy, but he was like, no, absolutely you can. Um, he 
he would have like <laughs> he would like source the chickens from the place of like some like farm down the road or something and they're like homegrown no no like hormones it's like from young to old they they're growing up and shit uh, and i don't he, I, would, he <laughs> would he would be right in front of us he cuts off a piece he's like just eating that shit. I don't care what kind of credentials you have. You serve me raw chicken, I'm walking away. <laughs> I'm not eating that shit for a second. I like that shit breaded and deep fried. Don't get that shit away from me. Yeah, and then, like, uh, you can do the same thing with pork. Eat raw pork? Yeah. Again, it has to be completely, like, like fresh. <laughs> nah, Farm good. fresh, bro. Now, nah, you want some French shit right there, dog. No, not French they be, shit They be eating all. snails and shit. I'm, I'm good. Apparently, like, for my coworkers that are <laughs> French, apparently, and then, like, uh, other coworkers that went over there, Bro, I'm so pissed. I'm not going to get a chance to go. Why? Yeah, because I'm Mexican. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> They're like, mm, no, no taco over here. <laughs> but uh, do you still have it? <laughs> 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 no, but uh, they talked about, like, escargot and shit like that. And yeah. they tried the, the the snail. And it's cool. I just want to go over there and use the little fork to pull the snail out. Yeah. And be like, it's a slug. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, apparently it tastes like nuts. Like, like nutty. Yeah, like I would have thought it tasted like maybe like an oyster or something. Yeah. No, but it tastes like nuts. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm not eating no damn snail dog or the the foie gras. You can call me fucking ignorant as fuck, but I'm not eating that shit. Like it, it just yeah. it looks gross. It's kind of like you know how like some people in China like to eat like the boiled eggs with the embryo kind of still grown oh, a little the bit. Balut. Yeah. yeah, it looks so gross. It looks dude. fucking disgusting. You see them like, <sighs> yeah. I mean, they're chowing down on this shit, which I'm like, yo, kudos to you. Each, I yeah. mean, I get, I get it. Some people are the same way with Mexican food. Sometimes people do not like the idea of eating tripas and shit. Yeah, but or like my mom, she chows down on the fucking eyes, uh, uh, cow eyes, the cow eyes. Ugh, I can't do that. Dude. Yeah, I've, I've never done that either. Yeah. I'm just assuming that she's gonna gush. That's a fu- that's nature's gusher, dog. Yeah, it is. It's fucking gross. Yeah, and then the brains. I can't do brains. Uh, I don't think I've had brains. I can't do them. I've never had it. Ugh, it's like, how it do just, you how do you cook how do you prepare brains? Well, the way that she does it, well, whenever we buy a head, the do barbacoa. Yeah. Or uh, yeah, she would cook the whole head in the oven, like wrap it up, spice it up, and everything, throw it in there, and it cooks overnight. And when you pull it out, uh, bro, I've never seen her so mad when she looks at a cow and she buys it, and she looks at it it's like they fucking shot it in the head to kill it. Yeah. Instead of like cutting its throat, because if as soon as you break that uh, that brain cavity, uh, the brains go bad. So you have to make sure the 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 skull is intact, so that way it cooks inside its fucking skull. And then you yeah. go, my mom goes in there and just Kah! cracks that skull open, scoops out the brains, and they almost have like it's so gross to think like our brains think of like soft scrambled eggs. Mm-hmm. That's what it's like. So like someone pulls out your brain, cooks it. It's just soft scrambled eggs. It crumbles and everything. It's weird. Mm. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I can't do that. But that and eyeballs. I've seen my mom eat an eyeball. It's the gross fucking thing ever. <laughs> She's like, <"Ugh." laughs> Nah, I'm good, man. Mm-mm. It's kind. It makes me think of that damn uh, scene from uh, was it Shazam? Shazam? Yeah. Where he's just like goat eyeballs. I haven't Bro, had I... those in ten days. Yeah. How many people? <laughs> Like, in the world, or, like, it's, it's still that whole thing of, like, oh, Shazam didn't exist. And like, no, it, it was a real fucking movie. It's that whole, um, it's a, it's no, a, the it's Nelson a whole Mandela f- effect. Nelson Mandela effect, yeah, the yeah. Mandela effect thing. Yeah. Uh, like, he was, oh, he died. Everyone saw it on the news. But then, no, he, he was still alive at the time. Or uh, the Bernstein Bears. Yeah. And the Bernstein Bears. Bernstein, Bernstein, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it was just a. So you're telling the me the thing. bears are Jewish? Yes, that's why they're <laughs> hiding. <laughs> but um, it was just weird. I, I always thought they were creepy, the Berenstein Bears. Well, I know the confusion with the whole Shazam thing was back in the early days when I'm sorry, they were the, Kazam. Kazam? Yeah, Kazam. Is it Kazam? Yeah, yeah my bad. Shazam is the DC hero. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Shazam. I don't. I don't pay attention to DC that much. Yeah. Um, I think I did see that movie though. Shazam, the new one. Yeah, I think it was all right. I, no, I saw the first one. The first yeah, one was right. the first one was all right. Um, but no, I remember there was a big confusion about that movie because back in the day, whenever they used to do like VHS releases, they used to have previews of upcoming movies that would come out sometimes, yeah. right? And a lot of people saw 
a, a commercial where instead of Shaq, it was actually Sinbad. Oh no, there was a movie with him in it though. No, but that's that's the thing. He was he was supposed to be Kazam. The issue was he got into some trouble. Mm. He was pulled from the movie, and they recasted him. Uh, they recast they recasted him, and Shaq took his place. Mm. But they still had sent out the previews for uh for like uh for that movie yeah, to be yeah, released. Yeah. So that's why some people remembered that. I thought it was Sinbad that was in that movie, but they yeah. never watched the movie with Sinbad. They just saw the preview for the movie that was supposed to be Sinbad. I know there was a movie with him though in it. Sinbad. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but it wasn't Kazam. Yeah, but it was like similar. Like he was a genie and everything too, and he came out. And no, he was, was a kid. No, that 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 was just that was the preview thing for Kazam, dog. He was never in the genie movie. Okay, because uh, uh, like one, he wasn't in a lot of movies to begin with. No, he wasn't. He was just a comedian. He was a stand-up comic. Yeah, he was, yeah. and but he like disappeared for a long time, even from comedy. Yeah. I remember when he came back to comedy, he released that one special, and we're like, God damn, he's still good. Yeah. Like, he's still a good-ass comic. Some people what are just... in trouble did you get in? Huh? Tax evasion. Oh, uh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of people, man. It, honestly, you know what I think it is? Is I think like sometimes when people get super famous and start making a lot of money, they just don't get an accountant. So mm-hmm. they're just getting all this money, and they fucking, they're not keeping track of how much money they're yeah. earning. And then, of course, like if you're getting paid directly for these things, obviously you're not working a nine to five that takes out taxes for you. You're yeah. gonna fucking forget. So you just have all this money. You haven't paid taxes in ten years. The IRS is knocking at your door. Yeah, they're about to shoot you in the head like a cow. Yeah, to tie this into the education system and back to school, they yeah. should really teach kids how to do taxes, like basic taxes. Yeah. Yeah, or just balance a checkbook. I mean, it's not really a thing anymore, balancing a checkbook. Like before, I remember you open your checkbook and you write down all your expenses on the top and balance it out. Yeah, I never had a checkbook. Yeah, I did. Yeah. 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 I never used it, but, you know. I mean, I didn't get my first bank account until I was like 25. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. I was paranoid as fuck, dog. <laughs> These banks are after my money. I mean, they are, but, yeah. you know, we all saw that with Silicon Valley. It's crazy. See, like back in the day, whenever I used to get paid, I got paid. I cashed out that check. I go mm-hmm. home, spending money, wallet, savings in this box I had in my closet. <laughs> and then in case for emergencies, I had a secret fund that was inside a sock. <laughs> Oh and no, my cum sock. <laughs> that's that's what that's what tricked people. It's like you'd see the cum at the end of it, and you'd say it's because it's there. It's crusty. Pull out the money. He's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I was nice. really happy that with that paycheck. I got a lot of overtime. <laughs> it's like, why is this ten dollar bill so starchy? <laughs> you just gotta flick it. Gonna get it loosened up again, you know. Mm. I no, never had just... I never had an issue getting them in the vending machine. I'll tell you that. <laughs> 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 Oh, God, dude. <laughs> How many cummy dollar bills do you think are in vending machines? Okay, first of all, I never had cum socks, okay? Yeah, bullshit. Who the fuck beats off into a sock? White people. I beat off into a shirt. That was, in a, that was such a, like, a, a American uh, trope. Yeah. Beating off into a sock, because that's gross. Yeah. Uh, and then you keep it? Like, that, what the fuck? That's really rough on your dick, too. Yeah, it's it like, How hard is your dick? Well, I mean, it's because they're all circumcised, so they have le- uh, the loose sensitivity. No, that's not true. It is true. You I'm lose circum- sensitivity. I'm yes, and you are le- you don't uh, you don't notice it because you live with it so long, but it is proven that you lose sensitivity because of the constant rubbing from underwear or, or everything. Then why do I come so fast? What? Because you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, it's like that it's- is bullshit. Because <laughs> if I was still like uncircumcised, the the difference between one second to half a second is not that much. <laughs> I don't believe that's your first okay, second. Okay, okay. I'm just saying. Well, the, the truth no, is, it, it's true. I've you heard lose of, sensitivity, bro. I've heard people say before that they got circumcised late in life and it felt exactly the same. Maybe it's just a lot of people got botched circumcisions as kids. Yeah. 
Because think about it. The technology is different now, dog. Now they have like some fucking little machine that they probably just put on their wiener and just cuts it for them like instantly. Perfect. Oh, it's like, uh, you know, like those, it's like the automatic uh, uh, wine openers. Yeah. You put it on the top and it has a little blade that goes, cuts the top and you pop it off. Yeah, in the yeah. early fucking 80s and 90s, it was probably just old fucks that just still had a rusty pair of scissors and they're just like trying their best. Like, oh, we took too much off the dick. Yeah. Oh, what was it? Like an old, like, they don't do it as much anymore because yeah. it's kind of frowned upon now. But old, like, Jewish culture, they would bite the tip of it off. <laughs> what? Yeah, they would. And, and. Damn. Yeah. Talk about Bosch circumcision. What if the, the guy was like, you know what? I kind of like that. Um. <laughs> I was really off-putted how he slushed it around in his mouth. <laughs> He's like. <laughs> He's like, it's not a breath mint. Goddamn. He takes it off, puts it around his wrist like a bracelet. <laughs> I collect them. Oh, God. I dry them out and turn them into little jerkies. <laughs> or no, he chains them together and made a chain. You know, like a wallet <laughs> chain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Look at all what those are, little schmeckles. What are they doing with fucking baby circumcision skin? They just spit them out and throw them away. I heard sometimes they turn them into lotions. For what? Because apparently there's just like a lot of fucking shit in that. That skin. What, smegma? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, uh, what was it? It was uh, how going much back dick, to that. Uh, how much dick butter does a person produce in a lifetime? just depends on how dirty they are. I mean, I never produced it, so I don't want to know. Man. I ain't got the hood, dog. You can't You still hide. produce it if you don't have it. What? No. Yeah, you do. It still collects. I don't know about you, but for no, me, I've never had does. it. It's I don't I don't get no funk down there at all. My shit stay pristine, baby. Stop playing with it so much. Well, I clean that shit hard. <laughs> <laughs> Just what are you doing? I'm cleaning. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, fucking You swear you think I'm white when you see it because I don't rub the color off of it. <laughs> It's my worry stone. <laughs> I just rub it all the time when I'm worried. I thought I had a bit of LIGO for a while. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it weird that you're like, this is like, we're doing a deep dive. Sorry, sorry, family. But your balls are a different color than the rest of your body, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're darker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's so weird, isn't it? Yeah. I feel like a dog. I feel like that's always been a thing, though. No, I know. It's just, like, funny looking. Because sometimes, like, I mean, I, I'm assuming that, like, depending on your complexion, the, 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 the color of your... Like if you're if you're white, I'm assuming you don't have white balls. They're gonna be a darker color too. Aren't yeah. they gonna be just like fucking red ass fucking balls or oh, something? God, just angry looking balls. Angry looking balls. Yeah. It's just it was just always funny to me. Like like when you're a little kid, you're looking at them, like, oh look at that. Why is it darker? I don't get sun on those a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a different skin, dog. Yeah. It's all tight. Yeah. Yeah. You know my favorite thing to do, man. Is I'll take the skin from my balls and I cup the water in the shower. You know what I'm talking about? You ever, I've done you, it, yeah. you ever done it? Dude, yeah. I love that shit. I try to see how much water I can get in there. I try to make a little pool so the pulgas can go in there and swim. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's ever tried, like, when they skydive to pull their balls out and see if, like, if they get some, like, drag in the That air. cannot be good for you. It's just going to be like... <laughs> like... <laughs> Why is he slowing down so much? <laughs> He forgot his parachute. I got this, guys. Ah! <laughs> uh, Looks like an angry dragonfly because your dick's just doing I this. Know. <laughs> See, the reason I said it because I feel like every guy has done some shit like that. Like, yeah, of course. Everybody does in the show. Apparently, uh, this one girl made a TikTok where she was just like, Whoa. Uh, this girl did a TikTok where she's just like, guys love to cup water in the shower to watch it like fall. I was like, yeah, yeah everybody does that. Yeah. Are you telling me women don't do that at all? They don't like to cup the water and just no, like... because they're too busy like lotioning and scrubbing and doing all the shit that they do in the shower that takes a fucking hour to do. Sometimes I like to cross my arms and build up all the water here and yeah. just be like, whoosh, you know? It's yeah. Like, when I was little, I would do it on my belly button because I'm fat. Yeah. So I would like get all the water in my belly button and be like... Whoosh. I'm yeah. still fucking obsessed with the idea that fucking white people don't like to wash their legs. Wash your legs, god damn it. Uh, yeah. Like, okay, I get, get it. A wash rag. There, there's cultural differences all throughout the world. I get that. But this is new thing that people have been saying that, like, oh, dermatologists actually suggest that you only shower every two to three days. I'm like, fuck you. Yeah. People I'm taking stinky. a shit. I'm taking a shower every fucking day. You don't know the kind of sweat I build up down yeah. there. 
You don't. And there's know. some people that need to follow that to the T. Like, like, hey, you need to shower every fucking day. Yeah. But some people just stink. Dude, if I go longer than like 24 hours without taking a shower, my fucking my fucking pubic hair gets oily, dog. Oh god, it what gets, the fuck is I, wrong with you? I don't know, dog. It's just the way my fucking like. It's weird because my hair, normal hair, is always dry. I could go like I could go a week without like washing my hair and it'd still be dry. Oh, that's fucking gross, dude. I'm not, no, it's just like, no. I'm not, I'm not like shaming you, but that's gross. Yeah, like I have to buy like good like conditioners and shampoos. Like I like right now I have like a coconut based like shampoo mm, and conditioner. I can't do that. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, no, I have some really good shampoos. One of them is like a is like a healing one that has like menthol kind of in it. Yeah. Oh, I feel so good on my scalp. Dude. No, but it's just the way I sweat. That's what it is. Like yeah. if I go longer than twenty four hours, that sweat will build up to the yeah. point where I just feel greasy in the areas I sweat the most, and my dick be sweating, dog. Yeah. It be sweating. Sometimes, like, dude, uh, fucking the early days of, like, growing up, you're first going through puberty and your balls are dropping and you hit that summer heat where they stick to the side of your thigh. Mm-hmm. God damn. I remember, I remember the first time, like, like what was it? My mom told me that I stunk. That mm-hmm. was when your pits start smelling at that age. You know, when you start getting, like, the funk and everything. And you had to do uh, the thing with the limon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I fucking tried to deny it. I was like, I don't smell. What are you talking about? It wasn't until fucking somebody called it out at school. They're like, bro, you fucking smell like armpits. I was like, sh- immediately like showered with shame. Yeah. I got to go home and I fucking cut like three fucking limons. I was just, <laughs> get, it out, get it out of me. Yeah. But then there's, um, have you ever met someone that doesn't stink? Huh? Have you ever met someone that doesn't stink? Uh, like no matter what they do like you can see them they're pouring sweat and everything like they're sweating like they have the rings and everything yeah they don't stink i i'm not sure yeah. maybe i met one person it was like at um we were, we were doing something outdoors well, everybody has their own unique odor yeah. but no it's like everyone like i mean it's a funk like you smell it like oh you smell like bo like there's a bo smell there's always that underlining bo that tells you that you stink but this person was just like it wasn't there. Like, you smelt, I guess, them. Like, their skin. You smelt them. Yeah. It, you you smelt like a fucking, like, I felt like an animal. I was like, like, am I fucking hunting people right now? Am I smelling your flesh? Like, what the fuck is going it's kinda on? It's kind of like the first time you notice whenever white people go to the pool, they smell like wet dogs. Yeah. Like, I, I always, in the back of my mind, thought about that. And it wasn't until somebody said it. I was just like, oh, so I'm not the only one that thought this. Yeah. Like, white people smell like wet dogs in pools. I don't know why. I don't. Uh, maybe it's like the, their skin with the chlorine or something. I don't fucking know. Yeah, but probably. It, but, it, but they smell like wet fucking dogs. But then what again, we smell like to them. Or maybe it's just the fucking funk coming off their legs because they never fucking washed them. It's finally falling I'm off. I'm connecting it. I'm fucking Charlie Day on fucking Sunny in Philadelphia. It's like it's connecting. You look at the pool afterwards. It's like a thin layer of Who the fuck? shit on the top. You know, Pepe Silvia. Pepe Silvia. I'm seeing his name everywhere. But, uh, it took me forever to realize what that joke was. Pepe Silvia. Yeah. He was looking at envelopes that said Pepe Silvia. He's yeah. dyslexic and he was misreading Pennsylvania. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he was just like free. he was like trying to figure out who the fuck is this Pepe Silvia? I keep getting his fucking mail. It's all it's all it's on every fucking letter that comes here, but there's no Pepe Silvia. I mean, that scene never really made sense to me because he couldn't read. Exactly. No, but like, and like even before, like they say, "Hey, it's, what does this word say?" And it's one word, and he's like, "I, I don't know, I can't tell you." Yeah, because he couldn't even fucking like read it. But then he can take something like that and make a word out of it. Also, it's funny that he can't read and he's working in the mail room. Yeah, my favorite episode is still the one where they make the, the they make the the sequel to like Lethal Weapon. You know what I'm talking about? No. It's, it's the one where they did blackface, but they were like, well, it's not blackface. It's Danny Glover face. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you have to do to do blackface. You just have to say with the person you're making fun of. Yeah, yeah. Go. They got away with it. All right. But I think it's because people were like, yeah, this is pretty funny. Like, this is yeah. a funny. Well, the thing is. If you inten- do it right. Like unintentional if- blackface, I feel like, is funny. Yeah. As opposed to intentionally trying. Because that's why that's why people gave uh, Robert Downey Jr. a pass in Tropic Thunder. The whole point of him doing blackface was the fact that it, it's like. It's he's making fu- fun of Hollywood. For, he's making yeah. fun of like how far actors will go in mm-hmm. order to fucking pursue a role. Like it's it's ridiculous. Yeah. Did you see the whole thing on. It was like last month. Uh, TikTok 
people, I guess, like the younger crowd was finally getting around to that wave of movies and they were watching Tropic Thunder. Yeah. And a bunch of people were like, oh, do we need to cancel Robert Downey Jr.? <laughs> and everyone was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> they tried doing the same shit that Jack Black for Nacho Libre. I was like, he is, no, like, people Mexican. love that fucking movie. Yeah. It's like, so he's, stupid. He's like, uh, like every single Mexican I've seen, whenever people are like, bro, he's doing brown faces. Like, no, he's a Mexican. You know, a bunch of researchers <laughs> try to put together, like, this whole, like, uh, data thing of trying to see what is the best reviewed or considered the funniest movie um, by, like, votes and mm-hmm. reviews and comments. And apparently the one that came out with the highest amount of people saying that it's the funniest movie ever was super bad. Oh yeah, yeah. Super bad was apparently voted like the funniest movie ever made. Apparently, uh, uh, by like reviews, by comments, and by general consensus. It's a good movie. It's a damn good movie. Yeah. It's probably one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. Yeah, but it's it's also one of those from an era that's long gone, and I kind of miss. I miss that era of pushing the envelope and in, inappropriateness in movies. Yeah. You know, because like I feel like you can't have a repeat of a lot of these movies. You can't make movies uh like tropic thunder or uh or super bad or talladega nights or anchorman let's face the last anchorman was fucking terrible and it's because he it, three there's a third one there's a third one wasn't there a third one i don't think so but i don't fucking remember whatever yeah. the, whatever the sequel was they it wasn't as good oh, yeah. <sighs> i was like i haven't seen the second zoolander still yeah, me neither. Yeah. But but, um, but I've, I've always heard that Ben Stiller doesn't give a fuck. He he still goes for it. What? Uh, as far as like his comedies. Oh yeah, no, he's a. I love his fucking comedies and all his other movies that he made. Like he made that uh that Walter Mitty movie. Yeah, I fucking love that movie, dude. Ben Stiller is one of those guys that's very really interesting. Where I, like I don't always find him funny, but I always find him entertaining. Yeah, he's good. He's good at making comedic movies. He's good yeah. at writing comedic stuff. Apparently, he fucking hates doing stand up. Like, he, cause he's bad at it. Like, mm-hmm. he's like, yeah, I fucking hate stand up. Like, I, I can't do it. Yeah. Like, he always bombs. But he's one of those people where, like, pen and paper, he sits down, bangs out a script. It's going to be good. I think for some people that just don't have it in their wheelhouse house to kind of, like, formulate yeah. a comedic, like, com- comedy, like, stand up. Improv too good i think yeah, stand up yeah. is h- hard because it's really it's a it's it's a it's a very difficult thing to do because you have to structure yeah. a whole set on just words alone and then maybe a little bit of acting in there but remember a lot of people started off as comedians and they became actors and then never went back to it like jim carrey jim carrey yeah. was, they used to do stand up but you watch his old stand-up sets and you're like yeah this is kind of funny but it's not like yeah. it's not like this isn't fucking bernie mac yeah he was um he was on that one show. It was like SNL, but like literally it was like SNL for black people. Oh, that wasn't that the, um, what's the fuck? It wasn't, it wasn't the Jamie Foxx show. No, it was, um, Jamie Foxx was on it too, though. Jamie Foxx was on it. And so yeah. were the Wayne brothers. Yeah. Um, um, God, what is it called? Let's see. Comedy show. Jim. It was the one where he did like the fire inspector guy that had the burnt up face and shit. Right. Yeah. I forgot what that show was, but, um, it was a really popular show back in the day, yeah. and I remember it was fucking... They really went for it on that show. Mm-hmm. In Living Color. In Living Color. Yeah. And he was a big part of that, and he, like, a bunch of his, like... Because, like, he had that one, it was, like, the... Uh, he would wear, like, the fucking, like, 80s leotard, and he would do out there and do jazzercise, like, like the, like, you know, the, oh, one, two, three, good girl. And that's yeah. where he would show off, like, his, like, I guess, rubber band man-looking body. Because he'll do, like, the arms behind his hands, like, oh, perfect. And it's it's <laughs> just funny shit. And the people in the back are struggling to do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy to see, like, how the culture shift has, like, turned yeah. a lot. Because, like, I guess, like, every every 10 years, there's, like, a every 10 years, there's a bit of a culture shift, right? Where things kind of go back and forth. I'm starting to see that shift again. Mm-hmm. Where I'm noticing is that people are, for a while... Things just didn't, did not seem like they were ever going to not be over politicized. But I think now I'm starting to see like in the realm of comedy that they finally mm-hmm. have had enough of it. And they're just like, we don't care. We're going to go for it regardless if you like it or not. Yeah. And I think it's the best method for them to try to keep some of those old school comedy things like still like 
functioning how they've always functioned because Mm -hmm. not everything has to be clean or safe. So you have to be able to blur the lines from time to time. Because the thing is, I can't wait on in November. uh, I'm gonna go see Bill Burr. Mm-hmm. That's just gonna be fun as shit because I know he's gonna say whatever the fuck's on his mind. Bill Burr has always been a great example yeah. of somebody who just goes for it. He doesn't care because mm-hmm. the thing is, he knows who he is as a person, and I think that's where people fuck up the most. Is like, let's say a comedian says a joke that can be interpreted as racist or bigoted or xenophobic, whatever. You know, people care more about making that into a headline than actually asking, "Was well, this person really feel this way, or yeah. is this just a, the whole point of the joke?" Is the point of the joke that they, uh, that they're like acknowledging that you know this is a mindset that some people actually have and how ridiculous it is, yeah. or is it just funny because, you know, people are genuinely racist? Honestly, it could be a mixed bag. Maybe yeah. some people will interpret a joke differently. I I know for a fact that most people who are into comedy, uh, or or comedians. They don't necessarily, or I mean, most of them don't necessarily like do it just out of like pure, like hatred. They're doing it because they want the laughs. Yeah, that's the whole like, point. Yeah, if it's part of the bit, it's part of the bit. But if you're just being up there, like, what's her name, uh, Roseanne? Yeah, yeah. She, uh, you know, she came out and turned out to be a fucking crazy psycho, like right wing motherfucker. Of yeah. Course. And uh, she's well, I'm up not there. Sure, if she's right wing. I feel like she's just no. One... She, she like she went extreme right. Well, I know, I know the stand up special thing that she put out was really bad and really right leaning. But I've seen her on a couple of like, like podcast interviews and stuff, and she seems more just hell bent on just saying whatever she thinks would just piss people off. Like I feel like that's her gimmick at this point. Her gimmick is just like I'm gonna try to say. Whatever yeah. I can to piss people off, regardless of what you're viewing, like like she's sticking to this shtick a little too long. She is leaning. Yeah. She is leaning on the right side politically because she, I guess, that she has a little bit more like clout. No, she has a little bit more like leniency on that side because obviously on that side people are less keen on caring if something is offensive. But at the same time, I don't know. It's hard to really know what her motive is. It feels like she's just trying to burn it all down because oh. she's not because she and she's spiraling. But I think she's finally like a lot of these like a bunch of comedians, a bunch of actors, and like uh, news anchors, politicians. Ever since you know, like we go back to politics all the time. Ever since Trump became in office and started doing all that right wing shit. Yeah, I hate it. And started putting up, you know, like, oh, it's okay to be this now. A mm. lot of people have been, you know, showing their true fucking colors. Yeah, I really so, hated that era yeah. of his presidency because at that point, I feel like it's where people really buckled down on the political correctness because yeah. I feel like people were more fun and loose when Obama was in pre- like president. Don't get me wrong. It was still political correctness there, but with Trump in there, it was just becoming more like like he was going on TV and being like they're all criminal. Like, all these Hispanics are criminals and blah, blah, blah. And people are like, whoa, no, that's not fucking cool. And then, you know, after he started saying all this shit, all of his followers started saying the same shit. And then they're the ones that started coming out with all these racial slurs. It started saying, go back to your country. Uh, you know, all these shootings started happening. More of them shootings started happening. Not all of them. Because it happened way before then, too. Uh, it's just, It's just... I felt it was a very big tipping point for people to feel okay to show their hatred. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. It's just one of those um, situations where I just, I don't know what to think about it 100%. Because truth be told, it's like I, I feel like people just get influenced by those around them to think that things are okay. And uh, they just go for it because they think that like, that's just the best way to approach it. Yeah. January 6th. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was obviously a big fumble. Yeah. But but everyone thought it was okay. Yeah. But because, because of that whole January 6th thing, now they're looking for any reason to try to like use anything on the left side to try to frame that. Like, remember like whenever all those teenagers stormed that, um, that courthouse over that like fucking, um, ruling thing for like, I I guess like this, 
the city was having some kind of like voting thing for um, what was it called? Maybe it was for um, like um, it, a lot of the ones that were recent. Are you talking about the one that happened in Tennessee with the two black lawmakers getting kicked out? Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, they didn't storm it. Ex- they yeah. were just there. They yeah, were protesting. Yeah, yeah no, I know. But what I'm yeah. saying is people on the right try to frame it as that was an insurrection. But I'm yeah, like, they didn't storm a Capitol, dog. Yeah. They like and they didn't even storm. They were there in the courthouse the whole time. Yeah. But it's it's like whenever you come after one side of a political party on 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 something, they try to call them out on their bullshit, they're gonna try to wait for a moment later to try to flip it on the other side to be like, ah, yeah, you're, see? You're just trying to demonize the other end. It's kind of like back... Look better. It's kind of like back whenever they fucking were coming after Trump when they stormed his, like, home in Mar- Mar-a-Lago where people were like, oh, look, the fucking... Uh, the right is anti-police now. And then people were pointing at the left saying, oh, now they're pro-police. Look at this. Like, like, it's like no, we're pro... It's like it, the left came out when they were like, actually, we're just pro-justice. Like... If they're doing the right thing, good. Yeah, but I hate when people say they're pro justice because that's the same shit that fucking Alex Jones says. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, Everyone's it, it all circles back and everyone all, says the same shit. Nobody But at the same time, it's just like you can be like yeah, Alex Jones, he was probably he was right then. Like, you know, back in the day he was doing good things, whistleblowing on a bunch of shit and doing all this other they stuff. You're turning the frogs game. And yeah, and he was like, you know, he probably at that point was saying the same, I'm pro-justice. But then somewhere down the line, it got a little skewed because well, you know, always, of all, all the political shit that he was doing. Yeah, well, I was always under the I, – I've always had the same mindset about Alex Jones as a, 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 from the, from day one is if you go, go back and look at early Alex Jones, this guy very much was trying to fucking track down the answers to a lot of the things. Like he was one of the first ones to talk about Tower 7. Yeah. He was one of the first to talk about like how the Bush administration was just fucking trying to push their way into the Middle East to get mm-hmm. oil. He was one of the guys who – expose the creepy shit that people do in government through the the unveiling of a bohemian grove and shit yeah. he's always been somebody that was rallying behind finding the truth but the thing is even sometimes for certain people the truth gets blurred and they don't know who to trust and i felt that he fell into the trump supporter size because he genuinely believed he genuinely believed that maybe this would disrupt things to the point where maybe people could finally start like you know you know draining the swamp as he fucking said maybe he genuinely believed that and then because of it now he it looks i mean also he also he also i feel became uh a victim of somebody who just kept buying into every conspiracy that was brought to him just like he he got high on his own shit like here's the thing i love getting into conspiracies they're fun but they're also dangerous yeah. because you can end up like I'm not gonna lie to you. For the first like couple of times that I was listening to the whole PizzaGate thing, I was buying into it. I was I was getting there. I was just like, holy shit! But I can't, I waited. I waited to see how it unveiled, and then I was yeah. like, okay, this was all just a bullshit story. Yeah. Do I believe that something like that is possible? A hundred percent. Yeah. They could definitely be capable of doing some underground, like, child, like, human trafficking shit. But, They're- like, he... I guess, I don't know. I wasn't really too much into Alex Jones, but the first time I heard him more in my radar was when the whole Parkland shooting thing happened. Yeah, that's yeah. where he really... Well, from my understanding is that... Alex Jones always says that he has connections within certain groups, right? Like he's he's always said that he's got uh, contacts within the FBI, the CIA, the government, and then he this is how he gets some of his intel and try to confirm whether it's correct or not. Yeah. Or he, he always has like some kind of backdoor source of information. He's been doing this for a long fucking time, right? Yeah. So he's got like these deep connections to fucking people that give him information. But the thing is just like how the government got the fucking weapons of mass destruction shit wrong because they they were they were giving fucking bad information from the CIA yeah the same thing probably happened to him somebody fucking told his ass that the Parkland shooting was fake and he fucking believed it yeah. and his dumb ass went on his fucking platform 
the the issue with trying to run a news organization mm-hmm. that's solely based around news organization yeah but the, yeah. but it's solely based around conspiracy is you're gonna yeah. get shit wrong yeah and there's then, a lot of shit that he's gotten right in the past but he's also gotten a lot of shit wrong but the thing is it's only one big blunder until you lose all credibility and he lost it immediately with well, yeah of course because well then again fucking he, telling parents that oh your children aren't real is like no i buried my fucking kids so yeah that's conspiracy yourself. tell them to their face that they're lying <laughs> yeah. no he did yeah exactly yeah, it's just like what the fuck dude like what? What? What about that was okay? And then, well, because he's relentless, dude. He did the same thing with the people in uh, Bohemian Grove. Yeah, he, he walked up to them. And, yeah. Well, that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. It's he, not dead kids. He blurred the line between reality and non-reality. He genuinely believed that that shit was real. And I'm again, I'm not. I'm he not. He was ju- too much on his brain subs. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not justifying his actions. I just think that this is just the <laughs> result of what happens when you get a motherfucker that tweaked out Man, on conspiracy. Like you're defending him, bro. I'm okay. not trying to defend him. The, the no, truth, just, it, I do think he's a genuinely good guy deep down, but he just he's lost himself. Yeah, people lose themselves, dog. Yeah, no, like yeah, he At started point, with good intentions, but I think he just kind of let it get to his head because I mean, the money started rolling in. He got. I mean, once he started backing Trump too, I'm pretty sure he got a massive boost of people following him. Um, even before then, he was like, you know, on the right wing shit a little bit it's like i feel he, like a lot of he got money yeah well that's what yeah. i'm saying a lot of people always start off trying to do something for the right reasons but sometimes the line of what is good and what's bad blurs because after a while they just get caught up in this shit not everybody can be a bernie sanders you know no yeah Ber- i mean bernie sanders he's i mean i mean he does good stuff but i mean he has fucked up a few times yeah yeah, and he's even talked about it. He's he's openly admitted about like, yes, yeah, sometimes I voted in bills that kind of did not favor people, yeah. but you have to make these sacrifices to get other things that were attached to that bill through, and that's yeah. just the reality of like, I hate that that's how politics works. That's why I fucking hate politics. I hate talking about. That's politics. why we're about to go into another recession because they uh, they're gonna vote again to see if we have any more money for our you know bills, like our debts and everything in the world. I thought we were already in a recession. No, we're not. But it we're trying like, to It not fucking be feels it. like it. Right. Well, we're in recession because we don't see the money. All the, the fucking toppers, they get all the money. And we're still down here struggling to, you know, pay bills, rents, uh, groceries. I went to go buy. I didn't even get, like, not even, like, a third of a, a cart full of groceries. And it wasn't even a lot of stuff. hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. Gas is up again. It's gone up, like, 20 cents in, like, a week. Yeah. It's like, Jesus fucking Christ. I know Thanks, it's Obama. Like, I know, yeah, like, <laughs> people out there being like, it's Biden's policy, and blah, blah, It's like, yeah, there's policies that are in place, but it's not just him. It's all these lawmakers, and it's also people across the ocean. Well, we're not going to get shit it's, done with him in office, because yeah. his dumb ass can barely fucking stand up without falling over. Like, his, like... Because he's old. Like... Yes. He shouldn't be. That's the point. No, I know. He shouldn't be running again because he's fucking old. I, like, Trump again, shouldn't be running again. I don't have anything against the Democratic Party or the Republican Party, but stop putting in these old fucking geezers that are way too fucking old to like figure out what's going on. Age Trump, limits. Trump is too old. Biden is too old. Fucking Robert Kennedy's too fucking old. Yeah, his yeah. his ass is gonna try to. I think run. he's like seventies. I think. But he's fucking jacked. You ever seen? He him? sounds like a fucking like. He sounds like sandpaper though. I know, but I'm like, <laughs> yeah, but I saw a workout video that he put out, and dude, he this motherfucker is <laughs> <goddamn>. careful. <laughs> yeah, 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 this motherfucker. Yeah. Um. No, he's just like cool good for you but i don't think you should be running the presidency because yeah. also this motherfucker is all on that conspiracy shit too yeah he's on there about like uh vaccines give you like autism and a bunch of other bullshit uh <sighs> yeah he's just he's just anti-vax all 100 percent. you know all this anti-vax shit started from some dumbass who didn't even finish med school who claimed that vaccines were the cause of autism like yeah. he was he was the one that started this whole bullshit and ever since then we've been having an uptick of people who believe that yeah. vaccines cause this shit and the the truth be told is like it's it's incredible how 
you can just plant the tiniest little seed yeah. of some made up bullshit and if people immediately fucking fall for it. Like I saw this whole thing where I think I talked to you earlier about this where people online were saying you shouldn't drink double chico because yeah. of the acid. It's so fucking stupid. Because like if you because a lot of health people love to do this shit. They're just like, you need to drink only alkaline water because it's like it doesn't have any acidity in it and you don't want to put more acid into your stomach because that's bad for you where is this coming from this none of this is none of this is fucking real yeah also there's no acidity in topo chico it's it's carbonated also they've also proven alkaline water is not any better for you than normal water it's just fucking being purified to hell technically some people say that it might be worse because the pH level is so fucking high, it actually will s absorb the new the uh, micronutrients that you have in your gut, yeah. and end up you end up just pissing it out as opposed to drinking something that has more silica in it and just more fucking overall natural minerals. The reason it has the taste that it does is because it actually flows through fucking nature and it actually picks up all the things. Not again. We, we had this last episode. We were gassy as shit. Yeah, no. But no, it's just uh, the same thing like we said, too, with the borax. People are eating fucking borax now. Oh, my God. People are so fucking yeah. stupid. It's like all these little crazes. And I, TikTok and Instagram and all that stuff. TikTok more now because a lot of people actually started putting out, like, shit that isn't getting put on the news. Like, police brutality. Like, the one it just fucking happened this past week, I think. Or, no, like a year ago. Six cops broke into a, a house. It was two black guys and a white chick, and they were all living together. They, this is clearly a gang rape. No, they <laughs> they beat the fuck out of the two black guys. They they fucking sexually assaulted them with like sex toys, and then they made them take a shower to wash away any evidence. And then he put one of them put the gun in the, one of the guy's mouth and accidentally shot him in the face. They're still alive, but those six cops all were found guilty because they all pleaded guilty because there's no fucking way you're gonna get past that. And also, they tried to plant narcotics on these guys. To make it look like, oh, it's a drug deal gone bad. Oh, wow. Yeah, and it's like... We're fucked. Yeah, and... This, this, this fucking country's this fucked. It's not on the news. I heard it... Like, people have been hearing about this on TikTok. But no, fucking, you know, I, Trump got indicted again. We're going to see if anything fucking comes of that. Or, you know, fucking people are making millions of dollars, and this is why you should try harder and not be poor. It's just fucking stupid. It's your fault gas is going up because we're not spending enough money. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. But then the show stopped being a comedy podcast a while ago. Like 10 minutes ago, yeah. yeah. We got yeah. really serious. All right, go back to school. Uh, Let's go back to school to end We've it. been off of school for like 40 minutes. I know. <laughs> um, we need to stop coming in here politically. School lunches. Politically charged <laughs> fucking adults. I hate it. I hate the, who I'm becoming as a person. Yeah, but it's good. It, it's good to be politically It's good charged. to be gay. That Shut too. up. <laughs> no, it's good. It's 2023. Love one. Yeah, exactly. But, but I'm no, just saying, it's... politics are so gay. Like, I'm, I'm uh, done of it. I'm done with it. It's no, just fucking annoying. But you shouldn't be done with them. You should be well-informed so that way you can make a well-informed decision in the end to try to do something better. Vote someone better in the office. Yeah, that sounds pretty gay to me. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Yeah. I love basking in my ignorance. Shout out America. We number one, baby. <laughs> my phone picked that up. <laughs> Google was like basking in your ignorance. America number one, baby. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Fuck all right, it. I think we're ending this episode. Yeah, I'm fucking done with this shit. Uh, so school... I get you know, back to school. Yeah, but well, everyone who's back in school, I hope you're having a good time. If you got I, kids, don't go fucking. Again, of course, I'm just bullshitting. Uh, <laughs> these aren't my actual beliefs, but you know, mm -hmm. it's fun to make fun of shit. Don't be so sensitive. God, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thanks again for listening to another episode of The Night Flunk. Uh, make sure to give us a follow. Give us a review on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And you can find us at The Night Flunk Podcast on Instagram, TikTok, and also YouTube. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Go find yeah. our YouTube. Watch our videos if you want the video version of this. But also the audio version is always available every Friday. And uh, yeah, 
you know, be on the lookout for more clips and content um, that we'll be putting out in the future. You can also find us at our personals. Uh, you can find mine on Instagram at Handful of Pedro. And I'm also in the woods. Yeah. And as always, you know, new episodes every Friday. Um, thank you again for listening. And as always, guys, just remember <laughs> the world is fucked, but it doesn't mean that we can't have some fun and crack some jokes along the way. Yeah. You know, try to make life enjoyable. But here's the thing. Don't worry so much about life that you forget to live. Yeah. You know? Also, my shorts got shorter again. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I'm going to have to blur that shit out. I might have to blur out a few, few things. We went a little on the deep end, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah. This was the conspiracy to... corner again. Yeah, whatever. But, um, okay. <laughs> All right. Bye. All right. Later, guys. <laughs> <laughs>